um, we wrote the song God Most High. Oh, you are God Most High. For with you, nothing is impossible. The inspiration for this song, I must say, is God Himself and Holy Spirit Himself. Because this song came to me when we were going through a very difficult situation in our life. And David was the one who wrote the music for the song. I told, I, as soon as I finished writing the song, I sent it to him and he said that he got the melody right away. When she gave it to me, um, I looked at it and I immediately I took up the guitar and we, we sat you know, on our bed and we started, the, you know, I just started strumming my guitar and the melody came and we started singing the song together and that's how it was born. Praise God. Welcome back to Heart Ministry Radio Network and Extraordinary People Broadcast. I am your host, Brenda Divers, and today we have, and I'm going to say the names right. I'm going to say it. I have Anu and David Jalapa. Yeah. 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 We should hear all the, you know, the class. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we got it right. <laughs> and they are of DNA. This is their their DNA, and we're going to talk about where that comes from. But again, you see how they're sitting. They're, it's not that they don't like me, guys. It's just that they love each other. And married couples tend to do that, don't they? They kind of sit up on each other, and I think it's wonderful. So you stay just like, just that you know. It's not because they don't like me. It's just that they love each other. <laughs> and we encourage that, so praise God. All right, so we again, we have Anu and David Jalapa. Yes. And they have a beautiful song, God Knows Time. And you know, just by the name, you know that's the song of worship and praise, right? But before we get started, just say good afternoon to our listening audience. Good afternoon, everyone. We're so glad to be here. Good afternoon. <laughs> There's a hey. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> Praise God. And before we go into our questions, our first one is, what was your conversion experience and how you received the Lord? You were sharing that with us, but you have to do that again. What a testimony. We're going to have a new, if you would please start. Yeah. Um, I am from India, um, as you can tell, um, and I come from a community or a family uh, who are very orthodox, very pious, um, who worship idols so much. We go to temple is what they call and we go um, to that every day if we can and we worship God. So um, I was in the UK for an assignment for my work, for my job and the people uh, who, are, uh, who are my friends uh, who stayed with me were all Christians. Mm -hmm. So um, I wasn't in the right place at that time and I wanted to be close to a supernatural um, being. So um, I said, okay, the first thing that they, uh, they were all going to church. So I said, okay, let me just join them and go to church. So when I went there, I saw people um, worshiping God. It was something new for me because we see God as a sacred being. We don't worship him. We do, but it's uh, out of fear. Yes, it's, yes. it's because like, we see God as someone who can strike you dead. Mm -hmm. um, but when I went there, I saw people worshiping God. They were lifting hands. They were crying. They were singing songs. Mm -hmm. And I've never in my life seen people worship God that way. And that struck something yes. in my heart. And I said, I want to know more about this God. Like, why people worship Him so much? What has He done for them? Like, that mm -hmm. they oh, give... The question. Yeah, that what they give done? their heart yeah. so much to Him. Yeah, yeah. So I decided that like to know more about this God and then one month from then I just gave my life to Christ and I took baptism and I never turned back. Praise the Lord. What a testimony. And again, we talked about off air the book. <laughs> we received that. We yeah, received, we received yes, it. the book. <laughs> <laughs> just in the testimony alone, you know. And um, so David, tell us how you came to know the Lord. Um, I, I, I grew up in a, in a sort of you know, Christian household. Uh, my, my parents were uh, saved, they were born again, but they uh, they never forced us okay. to, you know, or they didn't tell us, oh, you need to get saved or anything like that. But they did 
teach us the fundamentals. I mean, they would read, my mom would read the Bible every night, mm -hmm. you know, tell us stories and so on and so forth. I was saved at 14. Um, basically, my cousin, you know, backed me against a wall and said, <laughs> you know, do you know where you're going tonight if you die? And I said, oh, no. I don't know. <laughs> and um, yeah, but <clears throat> over time, um, I began to, to doubt. I began to, you know, go down a, a really murky yeah. path, yeah. and you know, I, I, I actually grew up in India, uh, just like Anu, um, for a few years, and then once I came here, you know, the doubts began to, you know, Increase. grow and yeah, grow and yeah, grow, yeah. and um, and finally, you know, uh, I became an agnostic. Uh, uh, <laughs> And I mean, I began to question the very existence of God. Another check for the book. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, it was just one thing after another. You know, uh, I think a very close friend of mine passed away, and um, one of my aunts passed away. I mean, like one after the other, yeah. things yeah. just you know began to creep up, and like you know, doubts began be, began to solidify, and. You know, and then along comes Anu. Oh. Um, I, I mean, I couldn't believe it. You know, like she, you know, first and foremost, I mean, when I uh, started talking to her, and you know, we have arranged marriages in India, and you know, yeah. people uh, sort of pass uh, along, mm -hmm. you know, your mm -hmm. like, <laughs> yeah, your bio. <laughs> you know, bio to each other, and so on and so forth. Oh, I love it. And and the first thing I saw on her bio mm -hmm. was that she was converted. Uh, she was a uh, converted Brahmin. Brahmins, you know, they're like the, you know, as she mentioned earlier, oh, no. they're the, considered the most pious people oh, in India. Wow. Um, but I, I looked at it and it said converted Brahmin. And that struck fear in my heart because converted Brahmins, oh. because they're, they're considered uh, the hardest to reach. Okay. You know, and when they wow. come, they come with Hard. a fire. <laughs> oh my on. God. I was like, no, I, I want to stay away as far as possible from really? this. But wow. she, she came to me and she, and, and I told her uh, right off the bat, I didn't want to, you know, mince words. I said, I'm, I'm an agnostic. And she was shocked. There was a pause at the other end, mm -hmm. you know. This is a phone conversation. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. I was in India and he was here, so our conversation was mostly long, like Skype wow. and phone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Juicy. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And and she told me about the love of God, oh, and reasonable. and that was interesting because you know I. I, I was living in, in a similar mindset as, as Anu, except, you know, Anu, uh, you know, didn't know Jesus, but I knew Jesus, but it was like, I just knew it, uh, uh, him as a sort of, you know, God of thunder yes. and lightning, fear, 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 fear. Didn't fear, want to fear. go to hell. Yeah, exactly, exactly. exactly. <laughs> well, it's not going to hell. But she, she just, you know, laid it out and she said, you know, God loves you so much that, you know, he, he's willing to do whatever it takes to pursue you he pursues you and i was like this is way different from what i've heard you know and and oh i love it long, long story short i mean anu and i i mean like you know there's a whole lot that's why we said you know there's like a whole lot of things that happened yes, in, in between yeah. um we got married and like a couple of days later you know i experienced the love of god like like never before I mean and, and it was it, it was an encounter which basically shattered all my doubts all my fears about everything God. yeah everything about a, any preconceived notion that I had about God was just broken right there Praise the Lord. and again you know we could talk about this all day because there the encounter that we have and the things and the levels that God goes to just to draw us to himself yes you know yes. that in itself is I did another check <laughs> for the ball. But that's a testimony. And people are drawn to the story. Yes. You know, they what are. did God, he had to, he came to you mm -hmm. in the state you were in and showed you his love. He yes. just revealed himself. Yes. You know, yes. and when you, you talk about God in different, God doesn't reveal himself like that. Yes. But he yes. loves us so much that yes. he reveals his love. Ooh, ooh, mm -mm. I can't. I'm not. 
I'm not because this is too much. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is too much. I'm crying and caring on. But the love of Jesus. This is what you know. If we don't do anything, we have to show the love of Jesus. Yes. And yes. certainly, God Most High. And all all we do here is show, that's all we're trying to yes. do, is show the love of Jesus. Yes. And yes. I'm sure even through this interview, they are seeing the love, yes. the things that God goes yes. through just yes. to draw. So, yes. cool, before we even get to God Most High, just the life mm -hmm. that you guys have lived and the yes. testimony, yes. oh, you've got to share it. And we're sharing it with the world, so we're just yes. so grateful that we can share a little bit of you, yes. just a little bit, just a little bit, because you're going to hear so much more. So let's talk about God Most High. Now, as a couple, who did God give it to? Did he give it to one word and the melody to other? Did, how, did, how did that come? Um, it That's was actually, um, really? yeah, <laughs> yeah, it came from a deep worship. Um, it was, it came when we were going through a very difficult time in our lives, as we've shared before. Um, um, I, we were, I was pregnant. Um, we found out that we were pregnant in the, in, the, in October, I think. Mm -hmm. And... I think December, uh, November, we told everyone around that we're pregnant or like we were so excited. We've been praying about it uh, for quite some time and we were so excited. We sent out a text to everyone saying, oh, we're pregnant, uh, coming soon, June yeah. 2018. Uh, but in the month of January 1st, in New Year, I broke my water and I lost all my amniotic fluid. So we went to the hospital and they said the baby cannot survive. Um, you have to abort and um, the baby had a heartbeat so I said no we are not going to do this mm -hmm. the baby is still alive I'm not going to do this I'm going I trust my God mm -hmm. I know he can um, he, he can do this yeah. he is the God of impossibilities he can do it so we were praying we were in deep worship our um, very 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 close friends were with us mm -hmm. who happens to be our producer mm -hmm. and this beautiful beautiful wife they were with us, we were all praying, uh, we were on our knees every day. I don't think either of us have cried so much uh, mm -hmm. in our lives, but we were on our knees praying, but a week after that, um, I gave birth and it was a stillborn. Uh, but something uh, that we both learned is that when you are in deep worship, you just, you know, you tr so we trusted yeah. God mm -hmm. so much and we did not give up on our baby. and. That's all it mattered to us at that time. So when we came out, we said, you know what? We are not going to stop worship. And uh, to Toby is our, he happens to be a choir director as well. So he said, you can take a time out. You can dance. And I said, no, I'm not ready for a pity party. I am not going to give devil a chance yeah, to just sit down yeah. and uh, yeah, torment you. Yes. So yeah. we came back. So it's at that point when I was in deep worship, I was asking God, like, why? You know, you have, even when you go it through it, through, yes. it, you just ask, why God? Uh, at that point, I was a little bit angry. I wasn't offended, but I was a little, like, I was angry. I was like, you can, uh, you give can flesh mm -hmm. to dry bones. Yeah, yeah. There is nothing impossible for you. So why? So it is, it was at that point that God gave me these words. Like, I am a God of impossibilities, but I'm still your father. Somebody touched my princess, I'm going to go after them and tear them apart. Mm. The vengeance is mine. So, mm. so as soon as I wrote it, I... <laughs> Did you just hear what she said? <laughs> Repeat that line again. Repeat that line again. Um, God was talking about him being a father. He said, somebody touched my princess and the vengeance is mine. It says in the Bible that vengeance is mine. So I said, okay, God, I'm not going to sit here and ask why and analyze why. So I started, I, as soon as I finished worshiping, God gave me this words and I wrote it down. I told David and he said, man, I'm, he was at work and I was at home because I was on rest. And he said, I am getting melodies so much. Like I want to come home right now <laughs> put it together. and put it together. <laughs> yeah. So he'll tell Ooh. he'll tell about that. Okay. Let David talk. Work. Yes. Okay, David. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Uh, mm. Yeah. What can I say? I mean, seriously, what can I say? Um, it, it it was incredible. I, I I read the lyrics, and and usually, um, uh, let me preface this by saying that you know Anu and I, you know, like I, I've written songs before. I've mm. written lyrics and melody to it and, and she's you know given some lyrics but we've never gelled I mean we've never actually 
you know, yes, gelled as a, as a, yeah, as a uh, singer or songwriter duo or whatever. Um, and, you know, on this song, she gave me the lyrics, I looked at them, and the melody just came instantaneously. It, it, I mean, I, I was just, you know, blown away. I mean, like, and I, and I sat on the bed that night and I came, uh, you know, came back home. I couldn't wait to go home. <laughs> so I just ran home and, you know, like I got home and we were sitting on the bed and she gave me the lyrics again. She had written it down in her journal. And I looked at it, I picked up my guitar and I started, you know, playing. Wow. And it, I mean, the complete song was born that night. That's very nice. We were both worshiping together, um, yeah, with that song that yeah. we wrote together. And and God revealed it to me later that um, June was supposed to be my delivery date, and we released our song June twentieth. So God was like, it was important that you yeah. both. It was something that born was born out of our DNA. Yes. <laughs> so that's a third chance. <laughs> So he was like, do you know why it worked this time? It's because yes. my word never turns void. All those words you spoke when you were going through it, I will bring it forth and I will focus the purpose that I have in your life. So I've never written any song. Never have I thought that I would write <laughs> the song. The this is the first song I've, wrote, I've written in my life. I've never considered myself a songwriter, a book writer. I've never considered myself a writer because, and now you yeah, and yeah, this is something that God telling me that I will do exceedingly abundantly above yes, all will. that yes, you ask, will. think, or dream. God Most High, a song birthed out of worship. Yes. And even pain. Yes. Right? And in the midst of it, he's still God. Yes, this he is. This is what the sovereign Lord said. He is. Right? Yes. He is. But he loves us unconditionally. Yes. And how he brought you two together. I'm sure your hearts knit even closer. Oh, yes. As a result, yes, of, you know. Yes, we became more stronger in faith. Yes. We became uh, stronger, closer to each other. Yes. We never thought we would, but oh. yeah, that's something that yeah made us stronger and closer to each other. Praise God. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because the anointing is so heavy. Yes, you know, Amen. and God is good when it's all the time. You you have to say it he all is. the time. Yes. And is. despite what we go through, He is still the sovereign Lord. Yes, and He, he still is. loves us despite you know what we see and you know yes. like well you said this and why didn't this happen? You know He He said this is what I said. Exactly. <laughs> and I don't have the answer to you. Yeah. <laughs> you were to talk. But in in the midst of that, He still shows us love. Yes, He, he does. still visits. Us. Yes. yes, and certainly a visitation, a special thing. If he's he's knit your hearts together, yes. you know, yeah. even closer as a result of this experience. So God Most High, and again, we played some of this before we came on, and you have to get it after this testimony. I know you've already tried to find it, but let's tell them where we can get the song. Um, it's on all digital platforms. It's on iTunes, Amazon Music. It's on Rhapsody. It's on CD Baby. So it's everywhere. You can download it from anywhere you want. If you have an Android or an iPhone, it doesn't matter. If you have a car, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> you can find it. Yes. Find it. yes. So go out and get God Most High. The testimony in itself, you know. Again, and I'm I'm checking, but I I need to I need to read the book. I just need to, you know. If you go to do you know blogs or pod, whatever you have to do, we have to because there is such a story, um, so many facets of the story. Even what starting with the religion and what happens with that and how he brought you together and you know what you owe, what <laughs> you know because you see people who started with the Lord yes and then you look at them and they don't want to even say his name yes. you know so what happens in that process and he always sends a witness yes, yes, yes. he does so David you are a witness yes to is. what can happen in the darkness and how he brings you to the light yes. right so yes. you've got to get the book it's not written but you're going to get it <laughs> <laughs> if I have to call and, and text and remind you know we're going to see that the book because again I could just you can just see it, right? It's almost tangible. What you know? Who's gonna Who's gonna touch 
you know, there's some people, there's some couples in particular that I could even tell you that are in the darkness and need to see what that looks like, but you know, how you can get out of it and how God doesn't leave you there. He yes. doesn't. No, he, he doesn't. He always sends a witness. Yes. He, yes. Oh, he never leaves yes. you by him, by yourself. So praise the name of name, name of God. God most high. Who go get it before I just pass out, I'm telling you. <laughs> Joe get it. God most high. A song of worship and praise that has been birthed out of pain, but out of worship for God. Yes. And despite the, the pain, how the love prevails. Yes. Yes. Doesn't yes. it prevail? Yes. Yes. Always. Yes. You know, so we just bless God for a new David Chalapa. Yeah, got it right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so go, if I can say it, you can remember it. <laughs> and go out and get them. You can Google them and find them anywhere. And again, this is going to impact the world. Yes. Right? Yes. It's, it's going out to the world. It's going to impact the world. We first had, we were just, I tell you, shout out to Toby Key Productions. Yes. Yeah. You know, they're just bringing so out. many beautiful yeah. God feet. And I think it's not necessarily just the artists. Yes. Right? It's the God and the artists and the yes. anointing yes. that is yes. in you and you're allowing the Lord to just shine. Yes. Because we have yes. to be witnesses in the earth. Yes. Right? yes. So we praise God for just the, the hearts of the people that they're bringing. You know, and we're just so grateful to be able to share this experience. So again, shout out to Toby Keys Production. Yeah. Yeah. And certainly if you're looking, if you have a song and you're looking to, for a producer and all of that, reach out. Yes, reach out. And I, and I believe from the people that they're bringing that you can trust your heart with them. Yeah. Well, we are just exhausted, and we've had such a time. Yes. I'm telling you, this has been such a time, and I think even a loving time. Yes, it's I feel it's a loving time. Yes. You know, yes. so we thank God that we're family. Yes, yes. We right, yes. and we don't have yes. to know each other all our lives. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like that, I'm that distant cousin that you've been longing. Yes. You know, she was there, <laughs> and now you got a chance to meet her. Yeah. So we're just so excited. Yes. Thank you for thank coming. You. Thank you for just sharing, feeling comfortable. Again, you shared some of your life yes we and you didn't have to so we don't take that for granted so we just we thank you yeah we thank, thank you, you so for much having us. oh absolutely and we're going to end we love to this is beyond our time but we we had to do it um but we'd love to end with a word of inspiration and we talked about your journey to christ yes. right so how would you encourage that one who is outside of the ark of safety who is outside how would you encourage them to come in? Um, with what I uh, went through mm -hmm. when I gave my life to Christ, I would just say that there's always a void in people's life that nobody can fill but God. That void that you feel that you go elsewhere to club, to drink, to smoke, you will still have that void and that place can be filled only by God, only by, God, only by His love. So even even if you are lonely, just call on the name of Jesus because he is at the door knocking. He is ready to come in when you want to let him in. So just that word, one word, Jesus can change your life, turn your lives around, and you can soar high Amen. up on wings like eagles. Amen. Oh, yes. What would you say, David? Thank you. Um, again, she took the words right out of my <laughs> mouth. Uh, <laughs> but... Being uh, or, or knowing, uh, for those of you who've heard my uh, testimony, I mean, wherever you are, even in your darkest hour, you know that God is with you. Deep down, you know that God is with you. Deep down, He's placed that inward witness in you. He's placed His heart in you. He's placed His nature in you. He has. He's put everything that He has in you. So you know that. And when you realize that, everything will just wash away every every single thing that has been oppressing you anything that has been coming against you it will all fall away so just remember that and and remember that god is faithful and and he continually pursues you no matter what you've done he will run after you a million miles an hour he will just keep running after you praise the name of praise god amen that's the kind of god we serve yes. that's the love that's the love i know we hear the Fire and brimstone, but we know he drew us. Yes. yes. He yes. draws yes. us with his yes. love. He does. Yes. He does. Amen. Amen. And what Amen. a testimony of how he draws us with his love. Yes. So go out and get God Most High on all of the digital outlets. This has been a new and David 
Chalapa. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. I tried it one more time. <laughs> Praise God, just one more time. Amen. But go out and just get it and just experience. Because this is this is an experience. Yes, it is. <laughs> experience our God most high. Again, thank you guys for coming. Thank you. It, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Yes. Absolutely. Loved being pleasure. Here. Yes. Amen. Praise yes. the Lord. Join us here often at heartministryradio.com. Again, you can see them on Heart Ministry Radio. You can see them on HMN TV. So they'll be all over the place. They're already being live. So <laughs> this is all over the world. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. But join us often. Heartministryradio.com. God bless you all. <laughs>